We are up. I would like to say it's still morning, but it's certainly not morning. It's 4 a.m. when we got in last night, but what a night. Oh my word, was it cursed? It was like the best evening ever. So much fun, so much la like so many laughs, loads of dancing, um, loads of meeting, uh, meeting, I'm licking my lips because I'm scared I've got two, uh, lipstick on them. Um, if I don't, <laughs> that's fine. Um, yeah, loads of meeting people, meeting all the Kirsten's colleagues. Um, so it was just a fantastic evening and we went to a bar afterwards after the Sky Garden um, and then carried on till four and then came home and had the best sleep ever. Um, the hotel's lovely. I'll show you it um, later when we've got everything. Hi, Kirsten. <laughs> um, I'll show you it later when we've got all our stuff sort of packed up. I'll do it before, before, before I leave. Uh, only negative is that it looks really bright here. It looks really bright in this video, but it's very dark for doing your makeup and it's, it's quite a uh, moody sort of atmosphere in terms of lighting, which isn't so ideal. So that's only negative, um, but it's ideal. Location-wise, it's perfect. Cost, it's perfect as well. We're not in the room that much. Um, we're away to head out now for a little bit of lunch at Covent Garden, uh, a late lunch uh, at Covent Garden. Um, I'm hoping to head into Tiffany's to get my rings cleaned. Um, they haven't been cleaned since um, Barclay was 11 months old, so that's nine. I cleaned them myself with my own sonicator, but by Tiffany's, I mean. So I'm going to head there, drop my rings, then go and have something to eat in Covent Garden. And then we are meeting another one of my besties that I have known since I was at school, Susan, who lives in London. We're going to meet her for dinner at 5.30 in, um, is it Roka? Roka? I don't know how how to pronounce it, Ro Roku, Roka. It's a Japanese restaurant round the corner from the theatre that we're going to tonight to see Tina Turner. So, Kirsten's now ready. Let's head out and I'll take you with us. We are just walking along to Covent Garden and I just want to show you this. Look how beautiful that is in the alley. Isn't that just stunning? It's called Slings Slingsby Place in London if you're wanting to come and see it. But the sun is just shining through all of the installation. It's just lovely. So we're just walking along here to get to Covent Garden. How stunning is the Covent Garden underground? It's the sort of thing you don't appreciate until you're actually looking The destination is on your left, oh, Tiffany and Company. We're heading to Tiffany's to drop off my rings. How beautiful is that building though? They always say, look up and look at the things you miss. Look at that. Tiffany's there. Let's go. Let's go hand in the rings. Isn't this just the most beautiful street? Hello, Covent Garden. Right, let's head to Tiffany's first. Oh, the buzz. We have just been recommended to go to a French restaurant down here. Have you got it on the maps? Yes, I do. Um, called Frenchies. The lady in Tiffany's was just lovely. She's booked me in and um, she's going to give me a little ping when my appointment is ready. Sorry, I realised I should have turned you around. Yes, so the lady in Tiffany's was just lovely. She has booked us in um, and we'll get a little ping to say when it's ready for me to go and drop them off to get cleaned. So we're going to head and have some lunch at a place she recommended called Frenchies. Lovely lady. Um, so we're heading down to Frenchies now. Um, and uh, to say, <laughs> I just love it. We're, we're actually buzzing and we're feeling so fresh after having such a big night last night. We are feeling fresh. So we're away to go and take in the atmosphere at Covent Garden. I'm going to do the big thing is everybody, ooh! Woo! Why wait, this thing is having a very important conversation, we'll wait. <laughs> That'll do the big finish, everybody, ooh! Woo! Ah! 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 Okay. Do it, Look at the architecture, it reminds me of the cloisters in Glasgow Uni, doesn't it? The roof is exactly the same. Absolutely stunning. What a lovely place. I just noticed it's the Royal Opera House is here. We've got Chanel, Dior, it's over here. What a lovely place to come shopping and to spend a Saturday. No, it's not Saturday, it's Friday. To spend a Friday afternoon. Some dark clouds there, but the sky is blue and the sun is shining. Right, let's go get some lunch. We've decided to have a look at the actual Covent Garden Square. Rather than going to Frenchies, although it was a lovely recommendation, we're going to have a look in here and see if there's anywhere in here for us to have something to eat instead. Look at the lovely stalls in Covent Garden. It's called the Apple Market. And it's just got some lovely bespoke places and there's some nice bits to eat in the centre. We've decided to come down here and enjoy the people singing. How lovely is this place? Oh, I'm just in heaven, I'm having the best time. 
We've, we've come to see the atmosphere in actual Common Garden. It's just lovely. Look downstairs, there's places to eat, turn you around. See, look at that, isn't that just lovely? It's so nice. But we're going to go back to the French place because we really fancy um, some French food. And Kirsten is a big fan of French food, but we're stopping off looking at the windows as we go. <laughs> So this is St Paul's Church, not St Paul's Cathedral, it's different, St Paul's Church and it's sort of at the end of Covent Garden. So oh, there it says, it says St Paul's Church. <laughs> um, and then everyone's outside enjoying the days and there's people to watch as you go. It's just wonderful seeing everything back to the way it once was. It's just great to enjoy it. Look at these, isn't this lovely? I love this. How beautiful and it tells you you can actually scan that to see what's actually in this truck. Isn't that just lovely? And then the Apple Market finishes at this side here. It leads out on to where we are with St Paul's Church. So yeah, it is just lovely. We're gonna go and find a place to have some lunch. Late lunch. <laughs> There's a Punch and Judy Covent Garden Market up there, like people watching. Oh, it's just so lovely. Just the buzz, it just feels so nice. And of course, I'm here with my bestie, which makes it even better. Please, please. He's in a kilt! Yay! <laughs> we've just spotted the Ivy, so we're going to go and see if they have a table, but we're kind of, you know, haven't booked. So we'll just go see. We've booked for the rest of our meals, but this one, oh, sorry, <laughs> the rest of our meals, but this one we haven't booked for. We just thought we'd come out and have a look and see. So we're going to see here, and then if not, we'll go back to the French place. So as expected, they were fully booked, but we weren't really expecting. We just really wanted to find somewhere that we can sit down, catch up um, and have a little quick bite to eat because it's not long until we have dinner. So it's just along the road here. Frenchie at the left hand side. Look at the beautiful displays though. It's just lovely. They definitely know how to do it in London. So we're going to go and see if they've got a, a space. If they don't, we'll just grab something, something else before we go and do some shopping. Beautiful place. I love this colour green as well. Look at the floor. Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful inside, the lady's just going to go and check and see if there's a table, but hopefully one of these is available for us to have just now. So the kitchen's closed, half past two, we missed it by two minutes, like literally two minutes. Um, so we're, we're, not too, we're not too bothered, this is obviously an extra thing, we weren't planning on booking anywhere, we're just going to grab something. Um, so we're just going to go along and see if we can get something to eat quickly. Um, but it's so nice just going into these restaurants and see them, like did you see the decor in that place? It was just lovely. So it's just good to be able to do that um, and it's nice to just pop in. So yeah, we're going to go get something to eat, just something little. And then dinner's in three hours, so we don't want to fill ourselves up before our dinner. So three hours until then, so just a little snack um, while we go and look at the shops. So how funny are we? We've come back to the first place that we saw when we were listening to the lady singing and we thought, why don't we go to this tapas place and sit outside? And then we looked inside, look how gorgeous it is. So they have a space for us. So we're just gonna hand tapas stories and it's perfect. It's, it's beautiful. It looks like we're in one of the Spanish underground restaurants that we've had um, tapas in before. And it is lovely because we can have little bits to eat and not get too full. So we're gonna sit down here and enjoy our lunch. We're being serenaded by in a bit so we've not got the sound of the hustle and bustle. <laughs> Kirsten's leaning back to me out of the video. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Thank you. Thank you so much. back at Tiffany's, they're just taking my ring in to get cleaned and we're just waiting and admiring all the gorgeous jewellery while we wait. Isn't that just beautiful? This is with sapphires but it comes in rubies as well. Oh, just gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. I've got some moisturiser in my bag, I'll give you some please. My rings are all clean and look how sparkly they are. They don't do the lucid anymore, which is this style. I went for a lower lower version because um, at the time I was a scientist, I wore gloves, but also um, I don't wear a lot of jewellery. So it ends up being that my um, I would I would find it catched and everything. So I wanted something that was a little bit shallower. So they clean both rings, um, even though my second ring was by, um, by Liam. Um, 
I just I, I designed it so that it would fit in behind that ring. I just love my rings, absolutely, and I love with them. Um, I, when I had the children, I stopped wearing them because they got in the way, but actually the lower setting is just perfect for everyday life. And I'm looking at all these lovely ones. I mean, oh, beautiful. It's a Tiffany setting just there. It's gorgeous. Um, and I got this in New York. We were in New York when we got engaged. So we're out of Tiffany's, rings are cleaned, and we've now come to H&M because Kirsten's were so uncomfortable. Oh my word. So much so that I swapped with Kirsten. She used my shoes for a little while. And now we're in H&M to try and find a pair of cheap shoes for tomorrow night because they're too uncomfortable. So she's found a pair of um, pumps. She's so direct, like she's been in, she's chosen, and we're already finished, but we're still looking around. Ones that are like the Bottega, how do you say it? Bottega, Bottega Vanetti ones, they look like this. And she's got the handbag to match, but it's at home, she doesn't have it here. So she's got these that are kind of like the Duke for the Bottega Vanetti ones. So she's picked them up already, she's away to try them on, but she's also found these ones, because it's black trousers she's got wearing it with. She's found those as well, they're gorgeous as well. I love them, Kirsten. She's so, so good to shop with. Like she's in, she's chosen it, she's trying it on, she's not messing around. And um, probably helps that we've had a glass of red wine. <laughs> I don't like hanging about in shops. <laughs> she doesn't like hanging about in shops. Brilliant, I'm not shopping because, um, yeah, I don't need to buy anything else and I've got a full suitcase. I need to buy something for the children though, so I need to look and see if I can get something for Barclay and Grace to take home to them. So I've got something little, there's a lot of present from me being away, which I'm never away from them. I find it really, honestly, I was so anxious about leaving them, but now that I've been and I'm here and I, I feel fine and Daddy's got it under wraps. He's also got a massive list from me, so he's not gonna go wrong. <laughs> but at the same time, it's just not my normal to be away from the children, so it's nice to be um, feeling okay about it. I actually feel quite good about it and um, not good about leaving them, but good about, I, I thought I'd be really worried about them, but I'm totally fine. Daddy's got it completely under control. So I can relax and enjoy my time with my best friend. Perfect. I'm just come out of H&M and look at the lovely, look at all these beautiful trees. Um, isn't this lovely though? That you, it's so quiet around here. There's nobody here. This is so nice. It's like a hidden gem. Right, St. Martin's Courtyard down here. We're just gonna have a wee wonder um, before we head for dinner. <laughs> in amongst a few shots <laughs> um, that that bracelets that you saw and um, that were everlasting they actually get welded onto your wrists they don't come off you'd have to cut them to get them off and um, you can get them like as a best friend thing we looked into it but we're both so bad at like taking our jewelry off so we've decided not to go for it but we've actually we've come down i need a pee <laughs> in true Lynn style. Um, so we thought it's a good excuse to just go and have a glass of wine and sit and chat and like enjoy like rather than going around the shops, which we are loving doing. And um, we've been into some lovely places, but at the same time, we just want to sit and catch up and have a nice glass of wine. So we're going to go and do that just now um, and then meet up with Susan for dinner. I actually thought about coming and having a cup of tea here instead. Be really nice, fancy cup of tea. Oh, I love this floor. Look how beautiful it is. This building is stunning, isn't it? Beautiful, Kirsten. Oh, lovely. Wow, you don't even know this is inside when you come in. Oh my word, isn't this just stunning? 
Oh my word, the architecture. Look at all the original features. Oh my word, I'm just in heaven. I'm in love and I also love tea. So this is like my favorite, favorite place. I'm gonna get a pot of Earl Grey. I'm gonna go upstairs and get one um, and then enjoy that. Rather than a glass of wine, so we're having lots of wine tonight with dinner and after the theater. <laughs> here we get to enjoy this beautiful space with a lovely cup of tea perfect way to spend a day in Covent Garden wine and tapas earlier on and then a cup of tea now right I was so excited about my pot of Earl Grey and I was actually look, really looking forward to it but look they have tea cocktails so I think we're gonna end up just having some cocktails so I apologize in advance Susan because you're gonna get us a little bit tipsy at dinner time um, I do quite fancy having a cup of Earl Grey as well. Although, look at the amount of teas that you can choose from. Mm -hmm. Oh my word. Oh my Earl word. Um, you know I said a pot, a pot of Earl Grey? I have no idea which one to choose. I think I'm going to have to choose an Earl Grey and a cocktail. Oh, amazing. The setting is just absolutely stunning. This is where we're sitting. Oh my word. Oh, I just love it. I'm having the best time. And we just stumbled across this place. This is the thing I love about just wandering around and everything happens for a reason we didn't get into the places that we got into because we were meant to have our tapas and a glass of wine in that lovely tavern with the beautiful music it was meant to be and the same here we just wandered along and thought instead of shopping let's come and sit down and have a catch-up so i'm going to put you guys down and i'm going to go sit and enjoy some either cocktails or a cup of tea with my best friend I should have said the cocktails yeah. are actually tea cocktails, not just in a teapot, which obviously you get them served in like a teapot, but they actually have teas in them. Oh, oh Kirsten, I love this one, the green tea with natural flavors of yuzu and mint ginger, fresh mint and white rum. Oh, but the sour's like, oh, I, I don't mind. I like all of them actually. <laughs> The cocktail looks so good as well. Our cup of tea is poured. We're gonna wait to enjoy it and spill some tea. <laughs> and that's what they say when you're chatting and gossiping, isn't it? Oh, it just looks lovely. Mm -hmm. Just figuring out this so this is obviously you can buy this here but it's just a little cover to keep your teapot cozy now i know that one of my best friends louise would love this for her teapot how cool is that it just covers over and keeps your tea cozy amazing <laughs> i can see you in the reflection Kirsten. oh sorry <laughs> no, no, just say sorry it's cool it's really cool as long as you don't mind being in as long as you don't mind being in the video and i'm here <laughs> So this is the one that we had upstairs. They don't have any loose leaf of it, but they have tea bags. I'm going to buy this as a gift for Steve. I'm just going to go and pay for it at the lovely till booth up here. Um, and hopefully he likes that as his little present. That's wonderful. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Thank you. Bye. where we're going to the theatre which is Tina tonight and our restaurant's just along here on the left hand side I think <laughs> we're following Google Maps so we'll see the all which theatre that's where we're going tonight for Tina Turner thought to do the filming now because we'll be rushing probably from dinner um, and not have the time to film it then but that's where we'll be going at 7 30 tonight so we've arrived we've got some scaffolding outside but it looks beautiful look how lovely the window is just stunning. We're just seeing if that one back there is actually the entrance. We think it is. Beautiful. So yeah, it must be this door, so we're going to head back and head in. And we're four minutes early. This is just so not me. <laughs> yeah, a quick, a quick video. Oh my word, this is beautiful. 
Thank you so much. This is our seat here. Kirsten's just popped to the toilet and I'm gonna go before Susan gets here. And then this is the lovely restaurant. How amazing does this look? I like you can see the chefs at work. Oh, it's just gorgeous. Oh, Steve would love here. Oh my word, it reminds me of our Argentinian, Argentinian girl, I know it's Japanese, but like Argentinian girls when we were over in Argentina. How amazing does this place look? And then round here is where that bar was with the lovely, lovely, um, see the Roque sign? Roque sign, and then round here, this beautiful bar with the lovely flowers and the tree. Just stunning. What a great place to come to in London if you're over here. So I struggle to choose what to have from the menu, so I'm going to go for the pre picture menu. It gives me a good selection of things I've chosen out of these three. I probably would have gone for baby back ribs, but I've decided to go for the sass instead of teriyaki. That was between the two. Um, but this is what I'm choosing. To try different things out, I'm going to miss out the dessert because I will hopefully get something later on, and I don't think I'll manage all this. And I'll fall asleep at the theatre if I do. Absolutely stunning. We are in, we are seated in the dress circle, ready for the show to begin. Well, that was an amazing first half. We've now got the interval. We've pre ordered some drinks at the bar, which we're about to find. We are here. Come on, woohoo! Wow. That was amazing. We were I crying, like laughing, singing. <laughs> oh yeah, go to them. Oh my word, like, no, she was amazing. She was amazing. Do that. <laughs> oh, it was just phenomenal. The show, like we were in tears at the beginning and then incredible. incredible. And then they said, like we were wearing masks, like if I had masks on, I'm taking mine off just to film, but we had the masks on and it said, you know, that like, not no singing along, no anything that. By the end, like the, the person who was playing Tina was like, get up and let me hear you sing. And oh my word, all of us were dancing. There were people, we were, we were standing obviously in the dress circle and there was people in the box next to us and they were like giving it loudly. And then they were like raising their hands next to us and we were like raising our hands back to them. Yeah. I'm that embarrassing person that's dancing, but everyone else was as well. It was like the whole, whole place just erupted. So we're in a queue just now here to queue and get a program because we're too late getting in to get a program. Um, and every show that I have ever been to, since I was a teenager, when we came down to London, mum and dad took us down to London to see shows, that's where my love of theatre came from. Um, and every single show that I've ever been to, I've got a programme from. So this is probably the first one where the tickets are electronic and I don't have a ticket to put in the actual programme. I've got to print out my actual electronic ticket. Um, so I'm going to buy a programme and then we're going to head, we'll maybe go and get a drink maybe on the way home. <laughs> maybe get a bit of dancing. <laughs> Carry on the dancing. <laughs> Um, but yeah, we're gonna head home and go into that. But oh wow, absolutely amazing! We want to find a show that I wouldn't come to with the children in London. Um, but I think Grace would love that. But there was a lot of a little bit, a little bit of violence in it, so probably not until they're a bit older. But yeah, so we're gonna buy a program just now and then head into London. Or head out into London as in head out of the theatre. So we're gonna go into that just now. Um, but yeah, what an amazing show! If you're in London and you fancy something that's an emotional roller coaster from like happy, sad, laughing, giggling. Like amazing, the jokes are like really funny as well. Like the guy, the one of the guys, I won't spoil it, but like, yeah, it's really, really good. So yeah, we're gonna head and go and get a drink. wiping off our mascara because we've come to the Walder Cheers. next door to have a drink in the bar. What a love of this lick. Lick. Oh my word. Lick how nice it is in here. Let's go and have a wee spy. Oh my word. 
isn't that just the most beautiful space? It's gorgeous. Right, we're gonna go into the bar and have a drink um, and yeah, make this night last longer. So we're in. There was no table and no chairs. But I just said to the, the guy at the door, I was like, we'll just keep you company. And he said, like, well, to sneak in by the bar there if you want to just go behind the pillar. So we're here. We have got our drinks. Oh, and I almost knocked over there. <laughs> that was close. Um, I've gone for a gin. Now, gin used to make me cry, but I think it was a tonic that made me cry. So I've gone for gin, honey, and lemon. It's called a bee's knees. Person's gone for a Havana rum and coke, which I'll probably be stealing some of to quench my thirst. Um, but look at the setting. Isn't this just gorgeous? Very helpful barman who's been serving us. And it's just beautiful. There's a little roulette, a little machine over there where the, the ladies have been taking people up. So we'll probably get our chance to have a shot on that at some point. Do you know what I mean? This is for the virus. And Kirsten's stuck it. Kirsten's stuck it out the way while I pull around. Kirsten's so funny, like I said, I didn't want I didn't want her to feel bad like when I was vlogging, but she's the kind that would tell me if she didn't want to be in it. And she comes in when she wants to come in and she pops in for little cameo appearances. Um, because I don't want her to hate the fact that I'm vlogging on this trip. I would never want that. I would rather not vlog. I would rather not do any videos than make my best friend feel uncomfortable. But she's loving it and she's also been my wingman. She's like, stand there, I'll get a photo of you. Stand there, I'm going to do a video of you walking through the arch like you saw earlier in Covent Garden. So she's also been a total wingman for me tonight because she said I was her wingman last night. Wing woman. Wing woman? Wing man? Whatever. But we had a great time. And a bit boozy. Cheers. Cheers, my darling. Cheers. <laughs> We now have a seat and we're going to be at the bar for a couple of hours. I will see you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye! Amazing. Hello. Hello. Oh, you're a star. Thank you for showing us around. This is so cool. Oh, my yeah, word. So How cool. Oh, yeah. I can imagine having like your cocktails in here so and then like, going in there for your main yeah. reception. Oh, my word. Yes, this is just beautiful. It's just been so lovely. It's just so exciting. It's the best end, the best day.